One other thing when starting the robot, if I start it from inside the docking station, it will before, behave differently than picking it up manually, moving it away from the docking station to an area maybe I want to have a little extra attention, which shouldn't happen because remember, we're going to tweak the robot settings and everything in uh, later parts of the video. I'm going to show you in the menu settings how we can adjust it so you won't have to actually, man you shouldn't ha ever have to manually pick it up. Again, we want to take this to 100% automated state, so you should never have to touch this robot unless it gets stuck on something in the yard. So I'm going to pick this robot up. Now if I dock this robot, I clear out the menu error here, back button from upside down, I hit charge. I'm starting at kind of an angle closer to the garage, so it might act, might dock a little funny, it might take a few attempts for it to dock. Nope, dock successfully, perfect. And it's, but it wants to leave the docking station right now, and I'm just going to stop it. I'm going to just put now. If I, even if I even if I push it a little bit, like I just did, it'll say it's trapped because the robot says, "Hey, I've somehow moved when I shouldn't have moved." So I'm in the garage system, and I can just see that back button, even though I shouldn't. I don't even need to touch it like I just did. But it'll say trap. Now, if it says trap, there's a warning. So it won't complete its loop. Remember, the screen has to say waiting for scheduled time up there for it to complete its loop. Okay, great. Now, if I start it, for, if I want to start it manually, um, which I don't need to. See, my robot's kind of acting funny. It's like, hey, I want to go out and cut. Stop touching me. What I want to do is I would actually have it in the jar. jar it would be in the charging station completely fully charged we'd be outside of its scheduled time say it cuts from like noon to four i would open the console inside of here hit start it would say close the thing right and i'm going to close it and what would happen normally is it should identify that i'm in the charging station and see it, what it's doing now is it's trying to back out and it's saying hey what it would normally do is what i'm trying to tell you is it would back out of the garage system go path forward like it normally does to go to a node and it's not, when I move it even a little like that, outside of the, where it's undocked, it wants to cut grass manually like it does. Okay, let's stop our robot friend here. Good job, little robot.